Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice for October 19th, 2016. So this is a general reading looking at the energies that surround us at this time, what we need to know about these energies in order to be able to use them for our highest good. And so since we're looking at energies, these will manifest in different ways for different people in different areas of life for different people. So as always, please do keep an open mind and take away the message of the reading and then apply it to your own specific situation if you feel it resonates. Um, and thank you for being here with me today and thank you for all your support, okay? Let's get started. So, um, the message for today I feel is asking for us to focus. Um, for some of us it's about facing our fears. For others it's about um, coming out of some sort of an illusion. Um, that may have been holding us back. The first card that we have representing the influence of the past in our current situation is the Page of Wands. And so the Page of Wands represents communication. Um, oftentimes it's um, to do with work, to do with career, with personal projects or creative projects because it's Wands. But it can really be anything that you're passionate about. So it can be your romantic life or anything really that you are passionate about. And so the Page of Wands is um, communication. So I feel that it has to do with some news that we have received either in the previous days or weeks, even months. Um, it really depends. Um, and this particular piece of information has got us thinking, okay? It has, it, it has gotten us to reassess things or it has helped put things in a different perspective for us because the page of wands is all about stepping outside of our comfort zone it's about going with the flow trying new things being spontaneous so i feel like um we started thinking that maybe whatever we were looking at could be done differently or maybe there was a better approach to it the page of wands is young energy okay it's immature energy it's about gaining information, trying to figure out how things work. It's still on the level of the mind, so we're thinking about it or we're talking about it, um, and, or we are just putting information together, and we're trying to figure things out. But with the Page of Wands, whatever this is for us, it really sparked something, okay? And it sparked something that we needed to look at, or it sparked something that um, we could do differently, or it sparked us... To, to find the solution that we've been looking for. The energy for today is the Justice card. And so with the Justice card in today's energy, this is beautiful. This is karmic energy, okay, definitely. Um, a lot of fated, meant to be type energy happening for us today. Um, I would definitely say pay attention to synchronicities um, and signs and symbols, okay, your intuition, definitely, I feel like we're going to experience um, being in the right place at the right time kind of energy today with the Justice card. The Justice card is also you get what you deserve or uh, some sort of a return on investment. Um, and, you know, of course, that can be in a financial sense, but it can also be something that you've been working really hard at and doing your best, trying new things, trying different approaches, always learning, always pushing yourself. That could be coming to some sort of happy conclusion today with the Justice card, and you get your just desserts, okay? Um, for those of us, the Justice card do sh does show up when um, we're dealing with the legal system, when we're dealing with paperwork, with contract, government institutions also for some of us, um, or of course, you know, the legal system and courts and all of that. And if we have been um, waiting on some sort of verdict or ruling, or settlement or even custody issue or custody agreement okay with the page here because it can represent children um, or anything to do with jobs and even education um, I feel that today with the justice card we're getting that information we're getting that ruling um, and the justice card tells you that you get what you deserve so if you have kept everything above board if you've done everything right ethically morally um, chances are that, you know, things will go in your favor. You will hear the verdict that will favor you. Um, and I feel like that is absolutely the case for most of us, if not all of us today, because we have been keeping our head down and we have 
tried a lot of different ways and we have gotten creative on how to move forward with this particular situation. We've done our research, we've talked to people, we've tried to keep our hopes up, we've tried to uh, keep ourselves going, okay, and had, had uh, faith in ourselves in the situation. And so I feel like that's definitely going to be rewarded for us today with the Justice card. And the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with is the Magician. And so the Magician is talking about a new beginning of our making, okay, mostly, because with the Magician, it is as above, so below. So it is what we think we manifest. And I always say this, okay, we're, we're always manifesting, whether we are in a happy place or a not so happy place, we're always manifesting. So I always say, be careful of your thoughts. Um, keep everything positive and you will attract positive. When we think about things that we don't want to have happen, and then of course we attach emotion to that particular image, um, and oftentimes that emotion is fear, or worry, or anxiety, or doubt, or panic, um, that's what we attract, that's what we manifest, okay, especially when we have the magician in our energy. Um, and when we try to keep calm, and try to focus on what we do want to have happen, and visualize ourselves succeeding and feel the joy, the happiness, the freedom, the release, um, the abundance, the wealth that it would feel like if we got to that outcome, then that's what we manifest with the magician. So it's just a reminder uh, to keep everything positive and to have faith, confidence, believe in ourselves and never give up. And so the magician is a number one card. So it talks about we're moving into new beginnings. So with the Justice card, I feel that this could also be karmic cycles. So a karmic cycle ending, we learned our karmic lesson or we paid off a karmic debt. And so with the Magician, it's another major arcana card and it talks about, okay, now you can start a new cycle and this cycle is what you make it. So keep everything positive, keep everything on the side of what you want to have happen and you will get to that, okay? With the Magician, that's definitely what it's talking about. The Magician is also about coming into our own. This is finding our strength, our confidence, expressing ourselves better, opening up to the world better or more. Um, it's all about communication. It's all about gaining knowledge, information, and then using it to our advantage because the Magician is all about using the resources we have to get to the outcome that we want to get to. And of course, it implies that we already have everything that we could possibly need to manifest our desired outcome. Okay, that's what all of these represent here. We've got the sword, the cup, the wand, and the pentacle all laid out on the table. And so that's about you have everything you need to manifest this outcome. All you need to do is use it, is apply it. Okay, so that's pretty much what this card is saying. And so for today, we have indigo. Improve your vision. The number is 40. So with indigo, um, it's all about opening our eyes to a particular situation. And I've, I thought it was interesting that the Justice card has her eyes closed and our guidance is to open our eyes. So I feel like for a lot of us, today is about revelation. Today is about looking at things from a different perspective and understanding things differently and having that aha moment in terms of that is what I need to be doing or that is what I've been doing and it's been holding myself back. Um, any self-sabotaging beliefs, any um, doubt and self-doubt and um, worry and anxiety over what you can and cannot do, I feel like a lot of us will be looking at that today and realizing that actually there's no point for those beliefs and they're just holding us back. And so we will free ourselves from that, okay? And so that could be a karmic lesson for a lot of us. Um, improve your vision is also about looking at things for what they are. Again, what do I have? What are my resources? How can I use them? So it's just about getting focused and zooming into what we do have and what we can do in a particular situation to turn it to our advantage, okay, or to get us to our desired outcome. So it's about opening our eyes and focusing, okay? What is it that I have? What is it that I have to work with? What is it that I have to use? to manifest my outcome. And if I don't have something, how can I get it, okay? But of course, that is all about, first of all, believing that you can do this, believing that you can manifest whatever you wanna manifest. And then you get going on how you wanna do that. 
but the belief in ourselves that we can do whatever we want to do um, is crucial actually without that nothing can happen and so it's a beautiful indigo card reminding us to uh, rely on our faith reminding us to use our spirituality our spirituality is also a tool that can help us tremendously so prayer and meditation visualization um, using positive affirmations every morning um, whatever it is for you okay working with crystals with candles aromatherapy whatever helps you manifest music it can be music it can be anything um, it's all about looking at that today focusing on that how can I manifest my desired outcome how can I use my resources? What are my resources? So it's just about clarity, okay? Seeing things for what they are, um, understanding things from a different perspective, gaining a new perspective, a different, taking a different approach to a particular situation. That's the revelation, that's the aha moment, that's the opening our eyes and actually seeing that, you know what? I can do this, I can make this happen. I've been self-sabotaging, I've been doubting myself, and I've been worrying about this and actually I've been attracting more of the same. That stops today. So I'm just going to start doing affirmations. I'm going to visualize myself succeed. I'm going to meditate upon it. I'm going to work with my angels. I'm going to work with my guides. Whatever you have at your disposal because you have everything you need with the magician. Look at it. Identify it. And then try to figure out a way to make it work together. Okay, To use everything you have at your disposal to further your goals. And so that's pretty much the energy for today. So I feel that a lot of us are going to have um, a really, really good day, insightful day, and then a, a new understanding of how we want to move forward and what we want our lives to be and exactly how we can go about making that happen. Okay, so it feels very, very empowering. And I hope that we all have that feeling today. So thank you for being here. I hope that the reading makes sense to you. And of course, I hope that it helps you. Um, thank you so much, okay, for being here. And again, thank you for all your support. And if you're interested in the special that I'm running, of course, or if you want a private reading, uh, the link to my website is always in the description box below. You can just check it out. And if you have any questions, let me know. Just email me. Um, and I really hope that we have a fantastic day. Thank you again for being here. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.